What's poppin' with you, YouTube? It's your boy, Regular Dave, coming at you with another video. This is probably my first, and uh, well, it is my first, but probably my only Call of Duty Black Ops video that you will ever see. Uh, I'm not a very good player. I ain't really got nothing to bring to the table in, in terms of Black Ops. Um, <clears throat> but this is just putting out a question out everybody, man. The YouTubers, all the Call of Duty players, man, that just played the franchise from, you know, probably way back. You know, even the first Modern Warfare. Um... What is it about Call of Duty that's so addicting? That's, I'm, I've been racking my brain because I play this game a lot, and I'm not even good at it. You know what I mean? I play it. I put in a lot of hours on this game. You know what I mean? Like, not a lot. Crazy amount of hours that, like, a lot of people have put in, but I put in quite a few hours. Um, Modern Warfare, the first one, put in a lot of hours. Uh, World at War played it a lot. Modern Warfare 2 played it a lot. And the game ain't changed all that much, you know what I mean, for you know me to just buy a new one. And put in the same amount of hours. What is it about the game that makes it so addictive, man? I can't really figure it out. I've been racking my brain of like why I like this game so much. I mean, most people don't even play games. You're not good at a game, man. Most people eventually put it down. But my, you know, I, I'm far from good. You can watch this game play here and, and, and see like what kind of player I am, and that's not a good player at all. Um, you know, what I mean, my, my ratio is sitting at about one, and I, I've lost way more games than I won because I kind of I ain't really I don't run with no kind of team or anything like that, but. Yeah, what is it? What what do you think it is about it? Is it the competitiveness about the game that is basically how good I am versus how good you are? You know what I mean? That's the only thing I can think of, and I don't. It ain't even like that with me, so I, I still don't know why I'm playing it. But what what do you think the reasons are why people? I mean, you can't really say people aren't addicted to this game because just the sheer amount of hours people have put in this game. You know what I mean? I put in about two days, forty eight hours, and I, I mean I know that's not an awful lot compared to you know most of the people, but. Man, that's a lot of my time. I work full time, you know what I mean? So I play it pretty much every night. Um, I never really, you know, even put the time in it, in it to get better. That, that would never my goal. That's why I'm not a very good player. But, you know, I'm decent. I hold my own every now and then. I do go negative a lot. But what is it What is it for you, man? What, why can't you put the game down? Because, I mean, people don't even front, man. You know you can't put the game down. You know you picked it up, and it's just hard for you to put down. So what? what is it about it? Is it like... You know, I was thinking for me, maybe it's since I'm not a good player, always have the um, the um, the hope of having a better round, maybe, or having that really, really good round like that, you know what I mean, 30-1 round that I've never pretty much had. Um, I don't know, but, you know, even for the good players, is it just the fact that you get to showcase how good you are, you know what I mean, get your little 25-5, and 30-2, whatever it is, over and over and over. Um, to build your stats is it, is it that type of situation because I, I mean I don't feel like the game it's a good game don't get me wrong but I don't feel like it's like oh a true depiction of war so it's like you know what I mean like I, I don't think it's that kind of good game where it's so so accurate that you have to play it like that um, I don't know I just uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of all the things you know what I mean um, look at this this is a new move but it was three dudes there I only shot two but I didn't realize that until I watched the video um, you know, I don't realize a lot of things unless I watch a video, but, um, you know what I mean? Is it style? Is it just style that, that, that makes you addicted? Like, is it your camping style? Like, I'm not a camper. I don't even know what my style is. I try to get a kill at all costs, you know what I mean? However I can get it, you know what I mean? If I have to post up somewhere and get a kill, you know what I mean? I'll try to do that, but I don't got the patience for it. So I normally just end up showing my location and getting killed. I think that's probably one of my problems. Uh, if I gotta, if I feel like I gotta run up in somebody's house and run up in, Run up in your spot and try to get a kill. I'm gonna do that too. That's that's probably the funnest way for me to play. Um, but you know, is it you know just the strategy that goes in it? You know what I mean? Because some people, I know there's a big debate: campers versus uh, rushers. Um, I don't know. Is it? I mean, is it the strategy of you know my style is better than yours, and I'm gonna show you? Um, I can't say, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Is it just a pure satisfaction and when you get a kill, it's almost like some type of achievement, accomplishment? I don't know, man. I end up getting a chopper gunner right here. And I rarely get that, man. On a regular kill streak, I mean, I, I want to say I got it probably less than 20 times. Just getting it during the kill streak myself. But the care package, I man, that's like a godsend. Chopper gunner, because you know what I mean? If you, especially, I could tell I was playing in a room that didn't have that good of people. I knew nobody was going to shoot me down. If you play in a room that has good people, man, this is, I it would have been done right here. But I, got, I ended up getting quite a few kills because uh, I wasn't playing against really, really good people. But 
yeah, man, I want everybody to leave comments, chime in, make your own videos, however you want to do it. Um, if you like what I have to say, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. I got more videos coming, but just want everybody's opinion on what makes Call of Duty, the whole franchise, uh, such an addicting series. Um, is it just the ease, the easiness of picking up and picking it up and playing? You don't have to get too involved. You can play you around. I think that does help for me. Unlike a sports game, man, you can you can jump on Call of Duty, play you around or two, and bounce. Like say you waiting to go to the club, waiting to go out. You just you can just hop on for a quick second, and then your ride hits you. Be like, I'm here. You 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 finish around within a couple minutes, and you can just dip out. Um, that's another thing I think that that. Uh, why the hours are logged in because there's a lot of times where I ain't got an hour or to play a game you know I mean so I could I hop on man play me a quick round you know what I mean go negative hit my little 9 and 13 and just jump off and that's fun to me I mean a game where you can do that to me is cool um so you know I think I touched a couple reasons but I want to know everybody else's reasons maybe I might be, get something enlightened and be like oh yeah that's why I play it like this um who knows man but uh yeah, subscribe to the channel or, or at least leave a comment. Let me know your reasoning for why Call of Duty, the whole franchise, not just Black Ops, but the whole thing is so addicting. Um, regular Dave, more videos coming at you.